Attention gamers, previously on my hardcore journey. I took on the two hardest leveling achievements in the game oh. by slaying an albino man bear pig who was pegging my internet gf and then bare naked kiting the deadliest scorpion in Azeroth with Rav walk toggled on to prove that no hardcore element would be left unmastered. Fuck I teamed up with Ampi to avenge his previous character's death on my final kill before level 60 and vowed that the series wouldn't end until I defeated Ragnaros. Ragnaros? Oh. Ouch. Yeesh. Death is permanent and you cannot be resurrected. Some guy's dancing on him. Now to understand how this happened, I need to take you back to where we left off. I hit 60 and despite being there showered with the server's praise I knew that the more important ding level 60 was yet to happen. Mm -hmm. Similar oh, to yeah, me planning an epic last to kill, 60. Howard had a poetic plan for his two, to get his final level killing off the ghosts of his relatives haunting their pig family. He was adamant on doing the work himself oh and refused to God. let me mob tag for him. We spent days in those plague lands until he was just one kill away. Are you ready, Howard? You bet your ass off. Oh shit, he's going in! Wow! His ding wasn't publicly advertised, but I made sure ding to let him know bitches. I was proud, and then throw him a party with some of Stormwind's finest baddies that I could Damn. find. Damn! Oh my fucking god. But it was at this time where everyone gathered for our pre-raid guild meeting because Papa Soda needed to make an important announcement. Ooh. I think I'm ready to show you guys the roster, show you all who is going to be in our first raid. It is subject to change. Um, I worked on this last night with Ampi. Yeah. Uh, hunters. We only have two hunters in this raid. The two hunters that we do have in the raid it's are going to be Dizzy and Rav. This meant I had work Whoa. to do in the form of waking up and checking the mail which was just full of surprises like my long lost father trying to capitalize on my newfound fame so by finally in. coming back from the store years later with the milk. Oh, geez. But it also meant I had to do some honeydews in order to unlock yeah, the raid which now. started with sex elf Robin Hood here who was like dog we got a dragon problem and yeah. you probably need to leech off of your guildies to kill some elites. Yeah, they're to pretty which hard I to kill. thanked them by taking the single fight that I beat them in DPS and posting it on. There it is. Online to patronize Chad move, their yep. tiny little damage. Always the posting meters. Is a homie and when I saw that an Egyptian Godzilla mm -hmm. breeder tramp stamped his oh, ass a yeah. few days later, I gave him the fattest 07 you've ever seen. Oh, wow. Done. But when I Deleted. told Robin Hood that we beat level one of Bloons Tower Defense Burning mm -hmm. Steps Edition, he said we are going to need backup from Stormwind. So I figured I would use my clout to get an appointment with the king himself, who was all like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa!" Talk to my king. wife about that shit. Who, by the way, turned out to be a total bitch. Yeah, she is a bitch. Right next to you, imbecile. She was all sus, and then <laughs> said only pussies would investigate further, which made me curious. So I spent an hour talking to just about every breathing creature in the Eastern Kingdoms until some drunk told me about oh, some yeah, shit that, that went guy. down in the mountain. We were in the middle of. Black Rock Mountain when the filthy animals attacked. I grabbed some of the most oh, feared yeah. comrades I you could find. Oh yeah, you gotta get the guy we out in. of the cage. We found the dude that was yep, captured, Marshall but he was Windsor. all like, "Yeah, I give up this dude, game." Dude, this uh, this quest is hard. Has sucked the soul out of me, and I was like, "Suit yourself." Until days later, I found a note that said the local McDonald's was bringing back the McRib, and all of a sudden, the dude oh, was all the McRib. I've never had a McRib in my life. Highly motivated to get out of there. I've we never escorted had it. him as he unlocked all his friends, but he only seemed to talk to Fandy and thank yeah, her for the sucks. help. And I'm thinking, hey, pervert, I have a pair of tits too, and just because <laughs> no one is paying to see mine doesn't mean I'm not deep in this mountain's asshole saving you too. But long story short, the we fuck? rescue him, and he tells us to meet him in Stormwind in an hour for what will be some juicy ass drama. Ooh. I decide while I'm here to get attuned to oh, some core that's molten, which involved trying to save 15 minutes of time on tunes that we've committed nine days of played time to by trying to glitch our way through lava and after oh, she failing she getting hit too many times
failing miserably at some practice. What you're gonna do is you're gonna jump right before the uh, the red bar reaches the green uh, vertical bar. I figured what's the worst that could happen. I love how there's people that like nobody really knows even 15 years later how to lava jump. Everybody, if you ask 10 lava players how to jump in lava and not get hit, you're going to get 10 different answers. I actually think, by the way, the lava run is one of the coolest things in Classic WoW. I love this. Yeah, does it agree? It's just so good. Oh, we're getting a little bit too close. Anyways, it was now time for me to find out the drama that our prison oh, break shit. McRib lover was about to reveal. What's this? He said the queen has some Shrek turns into an ogre dragon at midnight shit going on. Bro, this guy, dude, he says, yeah, this bitch is a dragon. And I wasn't going to be the one <laughs> to piss say on so, his parade. dude. We venture into the keep and even though I personally had my doubts, yep. I love to stir the pot so I made sure she caught a few strays from me, but to my surprise, this conspiracy theory oh. was true as shit and half of the guard staff was apparently undercover. Volvar's like, what I ran the around fuck? trying to spread the word, but then I realized so that stupid. if Rab the Avatar couldn't save Stormwind, no one could. My ego got in the way of listening to Howard and even though I thought the Ravatar could help, there was one hardcore element I had yet to face. Death. But it only hit him for 800. Death. He took four cleaves at the same time. I only saw one. I felt empty inside as my first Fuck. thought was what would happen to Howard. That's what happened to him. My second thought was how can I somehow make money off of this? If I'm in Mon Molten Core with you on Saturday, you have to buy my mouse pad. I'll buy two and one for Russell. It's where he can put his plates. And then my third thought was that I just died two days before raid uh -huh. and the odds of me making it back in time were slim. I can power level you go again. There's yeah. no time. He can't get power leveled back all the way up there. Dude, I thought it wasn't possible. I'm going to be totally honest. I genuinely thought there was no way that you could do it. There's no way. It's not possible. I just yep. don't think that Rav's going to hit 60 by the time we start a raid. Just give up. Yep, Unironically, the only way it's possible is either A, he takes hard drugs or account shares. Uh, because he has to play 24 hours a day. And then that's also only getting level 60. Yep. I'm kind of down the bet 500 that he won't do it by raid. You also need to get attuned. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. But deep down, I knew this was all part of my destiny. Just give up. It's over. It is what it is. And hundreds of Fangsley members were going to help me prove them wrong so and so to said this. And I need him to tell me what he's going to do. I only had one answer for him. Only Fangsley? Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Bombo? Oh, yeah, I did this, too. Holy shit, man. I joined Fangsley to show my appreciation. I'm honored to be in your ranks. Oh, fuck. The last service we'll give you. This is insane. Till we meet again, hour 25. There it is. Spamming those. Oh, yeah. Oh, yep. Level fucking 50. Level from 49 to 50 in 7 minutes, 47 seconds. Just like it used to be back in 2006, guys. That's right. In just over a day, Fangsley got yep. me back to level 50, but now my fate would be in the hands of a midget named P. Penis from Asmongold's Roach Guild who informed. Jesus. me that there was no backup plan for me if things went. 
If it expires, backup plans and I aggro, he says, I won't. Damn. Wrong. All right. After being awake for two days straight at this point, I wasn't trusting my own ability dick. to avoid death, so I was absolutely not prepared for his goddamn Roblox obstacle course over elite mobs just Ooh. to get to the next step in my journey. Oh, got it. Jesus. Jesus. Okay, he made it. That's good. Oh my god. He actually got all the way in there. And before I could even process what just happened, little PP head here was already telling me that one of my guildies died in the next step while giving me the most vague explanation of what he did wrong. The other guy from your guild dies from it. Huh. <laughs> Oh, he jumped down, he got icy. I see what happened. Okay. But with it, I had made it to the rock where I would sit for 10 minutes at a time in hopes of getting XP orgasms from him grinding raid mobs. Damn. And with 12 hours till raid and two levels to go, I accepted a bribe from Papa Soda to join back into the OnlyFangs guild. Jeez, 6,000 gold? that would be used for the final step of the journey. Oh, yeah! All the beaches, I forgot about that. Yeah! Oh my fucking god. Level 16 And in a 34-hour marathon, hours. we had done it, and been granted our raid spot back, but there were still doubters. You've earned Listen, your- I still don't think he's gonna make it to raid, so what's the point of this shit? Ooh, bro. Bro, now, see, now that's coping. You know at this point he's coping. He's gotta get detuned, I just don't see it happening. Yeah, yeah. Little did he know that I would be walking by his side an hour later to achieve my attunement to the Molten Core. Jesus. And while I had successfully ascended as Rav the Avatar, Howard could not complete the journey with me as he was still loyal to my former dead self. True. I asked his brothers and they informed me that only his ghost existed in the world while he himself remained tethered to his dead owner and rumor was his ghost could be found in the Plaguelands. That's horrible. My friends in Fangsley located his ghost and supported me as I tamed him to fight by my side for the remainder of my journey. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. I didn't even know you could tame one of those. It was now time to finish my attunements, but He's we weren't back. out of the clear yet. Target tell me if you got it. Oh, it's a little bit scary. Kill the other uh, guys in the back here. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh, wow, this is bad. Jesus. Hey, Holy, oh no. Shield this, this is pretty... This, this is pretty much, guys. Yeah, this might be a pet this tree. Guys, just can, can we A them down? Yeah, I'm killing you still. Bro, he's saying I stay in? I, I marked a skull. Go back. Oh my god. Every, everyone's. I, I already petried. I got scared. I already petried. Okay, guys, do we, do we all have petries? A few hours after hitting 60, I had to use a pussy potion just to survive the attunement, but no matter how yeah, little. It's just the way it is, you know? ...sleep or how deadly the tasks were ahead of me, I had a death to avenge and a destiny to fulfill. He's doing it again. Oh my fucking god. This is insane. I bet somebody else is gonna get killed in the process of this. Somebody's gonna mess it up. We have a dirt beneath your feet, sir. <laughs> Bro, he walks past his old corpse. Oh, it's so good. Oh my fucking god. Actual legend? Yeah.
throwing snowballs at Anixia. Good one, guys. Yeah, backpedal away. Get the fuck out of there. Please let somebody die. He literally just petried it. I love that. Yep, he just pets it. He's like, nope, I'm not gonna do that. Not gonna happen. And with that, I had overcome the final hardcore element, death. And it was finally time avenged. for what we had all been waiting for. Oh my god. Time is racing toward us till it is fucking great wow. time. Shay the Bard, yeah. If you learned mechanics, oh my we just god. Might Survive! You're not ready for the raid molten core. So pack up, <laughs> go home, you're through. How could I make a raid out of you? I still the can't first believe boss was the bitch Onyxia, I still can't believe that they got all forty people that were like primarily streamers to actually level the sixty in hardcore wow. Th this is a that like that's a really big accomplishment. Sneaky Storm That's Wind crazy. killed my first character, and even though my heart had a beat faster than an EDM concert, the instructions were clear. Step on a crack, break your mother's back, and then yeah, when Purple right. Charizard takes flight, I bust a nut on all my cooldowns. Yep. Huge damage. Crazy damage. After the most intense 17 seconds, we were in the final <laughs> phase, and to literally everyone's surprise, we had no deaths yet. I was surprised. Oh, we got it, we got it, we got it. Good. Oh. That's it. Wow. Easy life, baby. Easy life, baby. Yeah. 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 We did it, let's Two go. minutes. Shit. Two minutes. That was kill. easy as wow. shit. That was a fast easy kill. But when my own performance was subpar, I had to channel my inner WoW player to find the cause. Classic WoW. Hunters and Classic need buffed. Hunter DPS just feels really weak right now. Devs seem lazy. Damage meters, all warriors. Hardcore. It was Tough now time moved. Okay, yeah, it's about for right. us to venture into the Molten Core and for me to use the, the, the following mods are footage warriors. from my comprehensive guide on how to one-shot this place. The first boss everyone mm -hmm. turns their monitors off and jams a one-button rotation. Yep. At one point yeah, Howard's ghost always. was looking like he needed some loving so I spent my fight mending mm -hmm. his wounds. The second was a large dog who would occasionally get swollen and us hunters would have to epipen him before he bit off a tank's head. Yep. Boss numero three was Easy the first boss. time I saw myself on the damage meters. Wow. For a second before it disappeared and never came back. <laughs> Gar was the first boss where people thought we'd have deaths and it's because- Yeah, I thought Gar was going to be a killer because of just the way that the ads work. Every time one of his little sperm cells pieces out yeah, everyone I was, around him I was is all like- I was scared about this one. one. <laughs> But we made it through with no deaths. Damn. Oh, the next boss Rainbow. had a mechanic where one single person could kill everyone if they didn't get out of raid when they were marked. Italian, Italian, Italian guy, guy, living bomb, Italian guy, I'm calling it out. Italian guy, get out. And all I'm saying is thank god no one was apparently listening to Soda because his add-on broke and whispered every single person in raid that they were the target every time even when they weren't. I then had- Ooh, oops. Had my few Oops. moments in raid to shine. Want to pull it, but I also don't yet. Yeah, I we're think gonna you can thread the needle. Uh, Rab, sure. you want to try and thread that needle? Pull that core oh, hound. You please. you fuck this up. Oh god. Max, you have you have a oh god. Okay, Adamax, you're bubbling. Adamax, you're bubbling. Yeah, this is me. I got it. Jesus. Right, we are Rab. That is scary. Go around. That's it, right there. Right in the Whoa. middle. There's ice in my veins. Okay. Miz, you're tanking. Oh my Miz, god. Femboy hole bubble. Femboy hole bubble. Before we spent 13 minutes talking about the next boss and then a total of 13 seconds killing him. Holy shit, he's just melting. Yeah, this boss Fuck is this. Easy to kill him. If there's a mechanic on the next boss, it must have called in sick that day because I wasn't even tabbed into the game for this one, but then the next lava lamp gone rogue <laughs> raid boss had a job for me. I would have to get the attention of one of his lil slaves and bring them to a tank. The only problem was they got a glance of Fandy's tits and for the life of me I couldn't distract it over. No one noticed. All right, just do damage. We now had two bosses left, and I felt like things were going a little too smooth, yep. so I had a plan. Ompi and I spent the next 15 minutes devising an evil plan where I would feign death uh -huh. during the next boss, and he would send out a raid warning saying that I had died. 
The whole thing was going to be dank as fuck until my feigned death decided to just not update- Wait. He was gonna send out a notification that he- Oh my fucking god. ...date my frame so we only got a taste of the reaction we were going for. We are on moon now, the last one, and that is it. Yo, threat! <gasps> Rev? Rev is dead. What? No. What? Mm. Bro, the oh raid warning. God. You're finish, so finish dumb. Finish the game. Uh, what's, a, what's a raid alert? You're I don't know what that is. He's not, is he? He's fucking dying! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. And then there was Rev. What an idiot. Egg. Ooh. The Ragnaros final boss and the goal from day one of our guild, and while the others were strategizing and getting ready to min-max their DPS, mm -hmm. I had my own plan for this fight. Just attack him? Yeah, it's pretty easy. Ooh. Fell on fire. We got someone low. We got someone real low. Group five. Group five. Come back. I'm coming back. It's just doing nothing. Just sitting there doing nothing. Petri the whole fight. Oh my god. Damn. Just petri the that, entire months fucking of time. hard work, sleepless nights, and gold spent uh -huh. by Fangsley and other viewers carrying idiot streamers like myself who barely lifted a finger and we had done it. Yep. But in the midst of the celebrations, deep down I knew there was still one Poke thing I had third? to do. Oh god. And there was only one way I could do it. I'd transfer my character so that I could come back to life and call him one last time. But I knew what had to be done. He was being extra clingy after having not been fed because while I was busy fulfilling my destiny, he was stuck back, tethered to a dead character who could no longer take care of him. Damn. I arrived at the spot that I had found him, his family around to welcome him back. I looked at him, and for one last time, I slashed Pat Howard. Abandon. Damn. It's over. So after what started for me asking to join a guild full of people who had no idea who I was. Who is this Rav guy? Is it the League Rav guy? I don't know who the fuck Rav. I experienced the craziest leveling journey not once, but twice. True. I was welcomed by the most incredible community I've seen online, and I got emotional over a pig in a video game. And that... Damn is the story of Rav the Avatar. But what I didn't realize was that me letting Howard go, was what I needed to release his ghost and I immediately knew what this meant. Oh my fuck, this is so fucking ridiculous. Jesus. He's back home. Oh my fucking god. I'm gonna be honest, guys. This was really, really good. I was in- I- 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 I'm very impressed. It's a masterpiece? Yeah, people will remember this for a long time. 10 out of 10 storytelling? Well, the best part about it is the fact that it all, like, it's not even really a lot of storytelling. It's like what actually happened, you know? And I think that's what makes it so compelling, is the fact that it actually, yeah, make sure to give it a like, bro, by the mouse pad. This is one of the- the best WoW series of all time. Like, it's hard to say, like, which one is the best. I think it's just personal opinion. But this one is in that top tier. 
This one's up there with like the Barney videos, with the Uber Danger videos, with all of them. This is so fucking good, man. Howard's Legacy. Oh my fucking god. This is a League of Legends player and he showed WoW players how to do it. I mean, I think the focus, like the best part about it is the focus of the whole series was just about entertainment, right? It wasn't about trying to prove that you can play the video game good. It wasn't about trying to, you know, like do anything else like that. It was just simply a fun series where he did a bunch of like, I mean, to be fair, really dumb shit, but it worked out. Better story than Retail WoW? Clearly, this series was incredible. Again, give him a like, give him a sub. This is amazing.